Uniform and non-uniform flow are concerned with how the flow parameters vary with distance or spatially. So if we've got a pipe we can think about how do the flow parameters vary spatially along that pipe. So we can think about how the flow parameters vary across the cross section, so across the pipe and we can also think about how the flow parameters vary longitudinally so as we go down the pipe. Now the, the variation of the parameters like velocity across the pipe can be quite interesting depending on what we're looking at but when we're thinking about bulk flow parameters we're normally thinking about uh, parameters that have been averaged over the cross section. So when we're thinking about doing design work for long pipes we're normally using mean velocities and most of the parameters that we would consider would be averaged across the cross section. So what we're really interested in when we're doing bulk calculations is the distance longitudinally so is there any variation in parameters between one point x1 in the pipe and another point x2 in the pipe. So at x1 we have an area of the flow and we have a velocity of the flow and at x2 we also have an area of the flow and a velocity of the flow. So if the flow is uniform then the area and the velocity are the same at x1 and at x2 and providing it's a steady uh, incompressible fluid then as long as the diameter of the pipe remains constant then the velocity is also going to remain constant. The time when we're going to get a non-uniform flow is when we get variation in the pipe diameter. So if we have a case like this where the pipe diameter is either increasing or decreasing then now we're going to have an instance where the parameters between x1 and x2 are going to be different. So in this example we've got a small area at x1 which will give us a larger velocity and by the time we've got to x2 the area is now bigger which means we're going to have a smaller mean velocity. So if our flow parameters are the same at two points along the pipe then the flow is uniform. If they're different between two points on the pipe then it's non-uniform. So we can do exactly the same consideration for an open channel flow. So if we've got a flow where between two points, let's say x1 and again x2, if for this open channel flow the velocity and the flow depth are the same at x1 as they are at x2 then this is going to be uniform flow and an example of this would be a river where the gradient of the river is balanced with the frictional forces so the height of the water is constant as we go downstream if however we took that open channel flow and we put a weir in the way and that's now going to give us non-uniform flow because the flow parameter is now going to change with distance. So what we're going to get now is some variation in the flow. So the flow depth as we move down the channel is now going to be varying so this would be non-uniform flow because as we move down the channel the flow depth is changing. So uniform flow is any flow where the flow parameters are the same regardless of how far down the channel you move or pipe. Non-uniform flow is where the flow parameters are changing as we move down the channel or pipe.